What high-end steakhouse in the Dominican Republic gushed about Ray Liotta's visit just two days before his death? And what other restaurants did the beloved actor hold in high regard? Keep watching to find out. Movie fans were shocked and saddened by the recent death of Ray Liotta, an acclaimed actor who starred in films such as Goodfellas and Field of Dreams, and recently in The Many Saints of Newark. According to Page Six, Liotta died at age 67 in his sleep in the Dominican Republic's capital of Santo Domingo, where he was filming the new movie Dangerous Waters. His fiancé, J.C. Natolo, who is 47, was there with him. No cause of death has been released as of the making of this video. Fans will probably always remember Leota's iconic scenes involving Italian food in Goodfellas, such as the part in which Leota's character, Henry Hill, and other members of their gang are permitted to cook up elaborate Italian meals, complete with special pasta sauce in prison. He used a razor, and he used to slice it so thin that it used to liquefy in the pan with just a little oil. In real life, Leota, a New Jersey native, was something of a foodie, too. He tweeted once about his love for Rayo's restaurant in New York City, calling it NYC's best Italian food. Leota and Natolo availed themselves of the best of Santo Domingo. They were believed to be staying at the exclusive Casas del DAC Seis Resort, according to the Daily Mail. And one of the actor's last meals took place at Nakan, an elegant steakhouse less than half a mile from the luxury resort. Both the resort and the restaurant are located in the Zona Colonial, which U.S. News & World Report calls the city's picturesque historic district. According to Page Six, the meal happened two days before Leota's tragic death. On Instagram, Nakan shared a photo of Leota in the restaurant's bar with an unknown woman, writing, "...we were fortunate to host Ray for dinner on Tuesday night. He was a special person and talented actor that will be missed. Your friends at Nakan will remember you fondly." Two days earlier, Nikon posted a photo of Leota and Natolo from the same evening, along with the caption, Mr. Ray Leota joined us for dinner with friends. We had a nice chat about the history of our building and our business. Very friendly and generous gentleman. One can only wonder if the generous gentleman enjoyed his time at the restaurant as much as Nikon seemed to enjoy him. But the steakhouse has a pretty sterling reputation. Nikon describes itself as the intersection of high culture, art, and cuisine. Photos show an elegant and stately exterior and interior. The menu features dishes including soups, fresh ceviche, prime steaks, sea bass, and salmon. Desserts include a brioche, bread pudding, and a variety of souffles. As for Leota's favorite Italian eatery in the States, Rayo's has an impressive history stretching back to 1896, when the restaurant first opened. According to the restaurant's website, part of what makes it so legendary is what it calls its authentic, southern Neapolitan Italian cooking and its homestyle family ambiance. Rayo's claims that it maintains a close connection to the traditions practiced by the restaurant's original founders, Vincent Rayo and Anne Pellegrino. What also makes Rayo's restaurant so legendary is the celebrity clientele that dine there, including Billy Crystal, Rob Reiner, Danny Aiello, and of course, Ray Liotta. So what can you get there? It's kind of a mystery. There are no menus at Rayo's, at least in New York City. According to the New York Post, the waiter will come over to your table, suggest some dishes, such as meat or seafood, and you can choose from that list. The restaurant claims a system is about creating a personal connection where you can feel comfortable requesting a meal just as you would at a family member's house. There's only 10 tables. <laughs> and, and, and no menu, right? I've no menu, one. no menu. Another restaurant that Leota had a close connection to was Pizza House, also known as Pizza Chef in Cranford, New Jersey. At first glance, it looks like your average everyday pizzeria. You could probably drive right by it if you're passing through and not even give it a second thought. But this place is known for a rather notable former employee, a young Ray Leota. According to the official Cranford website, Leota was friends with the son of the owners, so he worked at the pizzeria as a teenager. Inside the restaurant, you can find an autographed photo of a young Leota hanging on the wall, in which the actor claims he misses the best pizza on the East Coast. It would seem that Pizza House slash Pizza Chef is also loved by the citizens of Cranford, Patch reports. Several people had fond memories of working there or hanging out with friends after school. Maybe working there helped Leota inform the movie magic of the sauce making in Goodfellas. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about celebs' favorite restaurants are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.